Diego Dello is coming in with a team in a tournament card of a course from Portugal. I don't think this is really deserved too much. Um, but honestly, looks like one of the best, if not the best, right back on the game right now. He has got 89 pace, 88 dribbling, 73 shooting, 85 defending, 85 passing, and 87 physical. Is he going to be worth the 200k we paid for him? Let's find out in today's video. For cheap FIFA 23 coins, make sure to check out MMOEXP.com to get fast and reliable coins. And make sure you use code VIPER at checkout to get yourself a 5% discount. All right, guys, so we already went over the base card stats that he has six foot with high, high work rates. Right foot with three star skills and a four star weak foot. Very nice to have that weak foot there. In terms of traits, he's got no traits we care about. He's got a lot of traits, but they're all CPU AI controlled. Um, and of course, this is a right back. So um, it's kind of hard to review these. And I'm excited to review him because I think he looks insane. That 89 acceleration and 89 sprint speed. He's got great attack position at 91 with 95 shot power and 78 long shots. Crazy passing stats with 82 vision, 90 crossing, 91 short pass, 79 long pass, and then 93 curve. And then you go across to the dribbling and you're like, wowzers, this card does look insane. 87 agility with 80 balance, 85 reactions, 87 ball control, 91 dribbling, and 85 composure. He has no slouch defensively or physically, even with 86 interceptions. 82 heading accuracy, 83 defensive awareness, 88 stand tackle, and an 87 slide tackle, with 96 jumping, 88 stamina, 85 strength, and 90 aggression. This card looks absolutely ridiculous. I think right back is probably his best position, but he could also play centre mid slash CDM very, very easily. Now, guys, before we go across to Futbed to look at Chemistyles for Diego Dallo, I just want to compare him to a few of the best right backs on the game, right? Of course, Kyle Walker is one of them, um, whether it be his path to glory or gold card. You've got Cafu, which is a good card, but if you compare him to Delo, there's really not much in it. Um, so Delo's got two less pace, he's got the same dribbling, better shooting, same passing, he's got four less defending, and he's got more physical than Cafu by two. Uh, so it's quite an interesting comparison there. You compare him to the likes of Carlos Alberto, once again, Delo is winning here quite comfortably, in my opinion. And you've got Kyle Walker, which is a very defensive right back on this game, in my opinion. He's got 95 pace, which is brilliant. Less dribbling, same defending. Delo's got one more physical, which is crazy, and then two more passing. And you've got like Zambrotta as well, Danny Alves, who's probably the other best attacking right back on the game. But Delo, I think, still beats him overall. Um, so you are really looking here, guys, at one of the best right backs on the game at the moment. And, you know, he's got great links being Portuguese and from Man United. I think this card looks brilliant. Let's go across to Futbin and take a look at Kem Styles. All right, guys. So as we come across to Futbin, he can also play right wing back if that matters to you. And he's 200k right now. I'm actually going to lose a few coins on him, but hey-ho. Um, and Kem Styles for him are quite interesting because, honestly, like I feel like anything works with him. I think an engine's really good if you want to play him as a very offensive right, uh, right back. No, 86 vision there now, 98 crossing, 95 short passing, with 83 long pass and 99 curve. Great agility and balance there with 99 dribbling. Uh, I think that's a really good upgrade to him. You definitely need to boost the pace up, in my opinion, because 89 pace, whilst it is okay, I'd still want more than that. Anchor is quite good as well. Look at that card of an anchor. 93 strength and 94 aggression, 99 jumping, 90 interceptions, 86 head and accuracy, 87 defensive awareness, 96 stand tackle, and 95 slide tackle with also 93 pace. The anchors are very, 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 very good chemistry for him. And the other one you look at, guys, is a shadow. 97 pace now with 92 base defending with 94 interceptions. 86 for head and actually 87 for defensive awareness. 96 for stand tackle and then 99 for slide. I honestly think, guys, looking at the chemistiles here, I think the anchor's probably the best. You know, he's already really good in terms of an attacking fullback. So I think we're going to go for the anchor and really boost up them defending stats and physical stats. All right, guys, live game for Delo coming up right now. And we're playing him in midfield for this game in the 4 3 1 2. And I've been playing him at right back, and you're going to see highlights from him at right back, and he's been great there. He's been absolutely brilliant, but I feel like he can also play in the midfield quite comfortably. So I want to try him out in that position. Let's see how we get on with him there. Go on then, Gakpo. Gakpo, 1 0. Good finish from Gakpo there as well. And he's playing on the left hand side of the midfield as well. We moved Perisic down into. The right back row, and of course, Dello is now playing in midfield, as you can see right here. Man, he feels good on the ball, though, man. He feel, he just feels great. Like, he actually just does feel great. Into Van Persie there. Oh, that's unlucky. I tried to get the scoop turn off there. Just didn't let me, unfortunately. Oh, my God. This guy's got a demon team as well. I've just clocked that. Okay. 
Zakaria and Vieira. Well, in midfield, which is a little bit interesting because that's a very heavy midfield. Or not, looking at what Vieira's just done there. <laughs> Jesus. I bet that's like new Liao as well, isn't it? Got Dunno on the ball here. He's not, he's not getting to that. Nice. Cool. Oh, that's poor for me. It's really poor. I deserve to concede off that. And I probably will. Man, this guy's got the best F-stick dribbling on the game. Sterling, is that Sterling there? Yeah, Cruyff. I assume it's the World Cup Cruyff. And I assume it's the... Oh my God, I've got no options. Hold on a minute. I need to think something up here. There we go. Into Dallo there. Nice. Very, very good. Oh, I'm taking too much time on the ball though. All right, yeah, that's the new Liao. Based on that scoop turn there. Oh, I can't get the ball out. Easy, 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 easy. Right, long one. Dallo again in acres of space. Always that option, isn't he? Oh, it's nice from Dallo as well. Dallo's gone. Dallo's gone. Look at him go. Little one into the box. Oh, that was going to Van Persie too. 100% that was going to Van Persie. Win that, please, Luke. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. We managed to deal with it, though. Back into the low. Looks that boy to Gakpo. It's a lovely pass into his hopefully soon teammate. Unlucky from Gakpo there. The low's playing well though, man. And we're up against the sweat here as well. Um, for sure up against the sweat. So I want to make sure I try and get a nice early goal. Second second goal even. Unlucky there. Didn't get the right um, animation on the Travella there. Go on, Dallo. Yes. Strong player, man. Really, really good. And can play in so many positions. That's what I will say. Oh, Luke Shaw's gone there. Delo, you need to come back and cover for him. Good defending there from Virgil. Lots of time on the ball. And that's the other thing about Dallo, right? He's got such good links. Oh, man, this press this guy's putting on is stressing me. Right, here's Perisic. We can drive into space with Perisic here, too. Nice. Gakpo. Nice. Let's go backwards here to Delo. That's lovely from Delo there. He's passed it when I've done a scoop turn. I hate that, that, I can't say the word. I hate that poo, man, I hate that poo. All right, this guy is stressing me hard. He's offside. He's not offside? Uh-oh. He's got nothing, nothing at all. That was very, very predictable. Well done, Polinia. Sweaty game, guys. Sorry if I'm not talking as much as I usually would. Oh. Nice, Virgil. Dallo. Good pass in there. That's really nice football. Dallo, I need you to run, man. Ah, he's got to have the strength there, I think. He's got to be able to get through there. Unlucky. Should be 2-0, though. Is he going to move the keeper? Oh, he's not. Okay, cool. 2-0, guys. Um, I'm going to bring you back to highlights from here on out. Come on, then, Dallo. That's some good running. Into his teammate, I hope. Gakpo, Gakpo, no! Oh, Dallo, that is the best tackle I've ever seen in my life. Go on then, my son. All you, pal. Keep going. Who's up against there? Who's chasing him? Oh, it's actually a good pass. Back into him. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Gakpo. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, what a goal that is, guys. Nice, Dallo. That's an important head of that. It's Dallo again. It's a good ball as well. Oh. It was a good ball. Oh, Gakpo's got to score that. Might as well score off it, though. Oh, my God. Dallo's headering is... Or heading, sorry. It's just insane. What a pass, Perisic, as well. Dallo! Oh, what a goal from Dallo. And what a cross in from a Akotcha as well. All right, guys, review done on Diego Dallo. We played four games with him in champs. We got one goal and one assist with him. He is brilliant. As an attacking fullback, we hard-pressed to find many better on the game. 
It doesn't feel as fast as 89 pace or 93 with the anchor that we have applied to him. He's got a strange body type in game, um, which means he feels a lot stronger than what he is at 85. He feels more like 95, but he feels more like 85 pace. Um, and that's the interesting thing about him, right? He's a very, very good card, and he's probably the best right back on the game other than Cafu, in my opinion. Um, but you get a lot better defensive qualities out of him just because he's got that interesting body type in game. Um, his shooting's okay. You know, you're not going to score many goals with him, but his shooting is all right. Um, and then you've got his passing, which is insane. Love his passing, love his vision, love his crossing. His actual general passing with his short pass and long pass is really good as well. The curve mixed with the crossing also makes him be one of the best crossers on the game right now, for sure. His agility and balance is okay. This is not spectacular. Probably the worst thing about him, he doesn't turn as quickly as I'd like him to. Um, and that's the only bad thing I really have to say about him. And that's due to the fact his body type isn't good either. Um, if he had a good body type in game, his agility and balance would feel a lot better and he'd jockey a lot more consistently. Because his jockeying sometimes is good, but more often than not, you're going to see his jockeying be a little bit poor, more poor than you would with Cafu, for example. Um, but his dribbling outside of that is bonkers. Great sprint boost on him. Good left stick dribbling on him. And can definitely play in a multitude of positions. Also, we'll go into that in a moment. Defensively, he's an absolute unit, an absolute rock. Probably better than Kyle Walker. Um, defensively, I'm talking about the gold Kyle Walker here. I haven't used the path to glory. Um, feels really, really solid defensively. Great awareness. Um, great AI defending, generally, which is nice. Um, he's really good in the air as well. Like Whenever you need an outlet, you're under a lot of pressure. Maybe somebody's playing press after possession loss. Lock it over to him, and you're up against like a Neymar or someone like that. He's winning that header every single day of the week. And it's a really good way to relieve pressure because his heading accuracy is really good. And I've had no issues with his heading under pressure, which is good to see. You know, his composure is good as well. So good to have that option with Dello. And then, as I said, you know, he's you know he's really good in the air. Stamina is really good. Aggression is nice to have. And then you've got the strength. He feels like an absolute monster in game in terms of strength. He feels like Akin Fenwa. He's so, so, so strong, um, which is a really nice asset to have on this card, in my opinion. I think this is a really good card for a bit of a price probably a bit too expensive i think he's 120 130,000 coins he would be probably the best right back on the game full stop end of story i think i like kyle walker just a little bit less um i think deluxe a little bit better and you just can't justify the price upgrade that you are getting even though his base card stats look insane he is just not as good performing to some of them stats you know but overall, guys, I think he's a great card. Um, I think if you need somebody that can do everything and can interchange positions quite well as well, you'll love this Deluxe card. I'm going to rate him an 8 out of 10. And the value for the card is going to be like a 4 out of 10, guys. Good card, just a little bit overpriced in my opinion. But guys, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell to miss a review. But guys, that's going to be it for me for now, so take care.